God, dog. L-D-W-M-M-A-C. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Man, look. I've had a lot of harsh criticisms of Jody Escapel in, in, in the past. I mean, I have. I mean, the coach has. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But, man, I think somebody worse than me has arrived. And that's the commentating crew led by yours truly, Ho Rogan. Listen, man. You know... I understand, man. You know, everybody understand. You know, when you lose in a UFC, you get released, okay? Well, you know, they kept saying Jody Escobar is fighting for a life. Like, we know what the hell that means, man. Like, why do we have to constantly, continuously, you know, hear these guys talk about this girl that's fighting for her UFC life? It's just something I didn't want to hear. And Jody Escobar not stupid, man. She's not stupid. I mean, she, you know, the fighters, you know, they can hear these commentators. They can hear what they're saying over there, man. They right next to the octagon. And I'm sure Jody Escobar was hearing that. And, you know, it's already a lot of pressure on the girl. Already a lot of pressure, man. I'm just like, dang, man. They ain't showing Jody Escobar no respect. And then, then, okay, and there he go the referee. Every time Jody Escobar get a decent takedown, this dude's standing up like, look, let this girl get her body strikes off. Let her do something. No. No, man, they were standing her up, man. I'm like, come on, man. She can't get her strike count up now? I mean, God, <laughs> oh, man. I tell y'all what, man. You know, I'm, I'm going to start calling Jody Escobar bad luck Escobar. Like, man, she, she can't catch a break. She can't. This woman can't catch a break. But, you know, the fight, you know, it wasn't it wasn't an eventful fight. Okay, you know, if Hannah Cyphers literally just out pinpointed Jody Escobar. That, that's what she did. It wasn't anything. wasn't no special effects. Uh, Hannah Cyphers just outpointed Jody Escobar. Escobar tried to box Hannah Cyphers and it didn't work out. It didn't work out. You, you know, Jody Escobar, you know, she don't have the reach advantage. And I'm sitting here wondering, why is she trying to box on the outside? You know, when she got in on the inside, she had a little bit more success. It's what I saw. Because, you know, Hannah Cyphers couldn't really get her strikes off when Jody Escobar was close. And Jody Escobar landed some decent left hands. But Hannah Cyphers hit Jody Escobar with a leg kick. God, dog, oh, man. I thought Jody Escobar was going to start. I thought I was going to have to call a peg leg Escobar. That leg kick hurt, man. But Jody Escobar is a G, man. It's a G. She kept it. She, hey, she sucked it up. She bit down on the mouthpiece. She kept trying, man. You know, it's just Hannah Cyphers, the range, the leverage. It, it was just too much for Jody Escobar. It's just too much, okay? You know, I've always said, Jody Escobar looks the part. She athletic as hell. You know, and it's like, it's something missing, man. There's something missing, like, Jody Escobar don't go for it. Have y'all noticed that? Like, she really just don't go for it. Like, she really don't step in there, man, and just go for broke. And I didn't feel like she was, like, I didn't feel like she went for broke in this way. I feel like she did what she needed to do or what she thought she needed to do. But then, you know, I feel like there's another level to Jody, it's probably another level that she's not even reaching. You know, like, when I watch her fights, I'm like, man, she athletic as hell. Have y'all ever went to Jody Instagram and seen some of her? Man, this, this woman athletic. And I'm sitting there thinking, how does somebody who's this athletic not able to convert these into wins? Like, what is, you know, and I said, skill, she's got some skill. She's got, it's just, it never manifests inside of the octagon. It just doesn't. For whatever reason, it could be mental. It could be a lot of things, man. We don't know. But I know that there's a mental block going on with this woman. There's a mental block. And and she can't turn it on when she needs to. It's almost like she started doubting herself. Like she started, man, if this is me and if I'm fighting for my UFC life, you, you know what? I'm going out on my shield. I'm going out on my shield. You know, I'm going in and, I'm, and man, look, I'm getting in that pocket and I'm going to make Hannah Cyphers. Look, I'm going to make Hannah Cyphers be a, 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 a highlight reel. I'm finna turn Hannah into a damn highlight reel. Something about to pop off, man. I just didn't feel like she fought with a sense of urgency. The takedowns were good. They were good takedowns, you know. No, nah, nah, she didn't do a lot with them. But, you know, also, too, the referee, man. He was standing her up, man. It's almost like, okay, damn. Jody Escapel get the takedown. And, like, 30 seconds later, she up again. Like, God. And I don't know Jody thinking, like, what the hell? I was thinking that. I was thinking. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's just Jody Escobar has, has just been taking. You know what, man? I, I, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna be honest. Jody Escobar been, been taking some ass whoopings. Okay, it, it got that's just what it is. 
this woman been taking ass whoopings and in the UFC you, you know you got to give out ass whoopings okay you 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 can't sit and take ass whoopings and then think that they're going to keep you so i think we probably already know what's going down man we know what's going to happen okay um i think this was probably the last UFC fight for Jody Escobar i'll be completely shocked if she's you know invited back to fight again i i will y'all the strawweight division is tough and you know Dana White they trying to sign people man and you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you look at it like this when somebody new gets signed y'all when somebody new is signed then you got to start thinking that somebody about to get cut Dana White be handing all these contracts out on a contender series and you start wondering man how do they afford to pay all these people they don't they don't afford to pay all of them uh, they get them the hell out of there <laughs> that's what they're gonna do and I think Jody Escobar probably will end up getting cut you know and you know it's a shame man because I honestly believe that, you know, she could actually be a good fighter. I think it's there. I just don't think Jody Escobar believes that she's a good fighter. She don't believe it, you know. The physical tool gifts are there. They're right there for her. She got the tool. She got the speed. She got the quickness. She got the foot. It's there. But also in your mind, if you're not thinking that you're going to do what you think your body can do, it's just not going to work. Congratulations to Hannah Cypress, a unanimous decision win over Jody Escobar. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harris, and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.